TUT student Khalale Lotluale suffered braces and emotional scars when she was attacked by members of the infamous and disciplines ministries in Soshanguve on Sunday. The 22-year-old was on an assignment at the church that made headlines after its pastor fed his congregants snakes which he claimed he could turn into chocolate. Little did Luan know that she could be regarded as a feast herself for Zilia's congregation members. Sharing her story, the second year student has this to say. I went to Sashanguva Extension 13 with my colleagues to cover a story for a record. And we went there to cover for uh, the pastor who fed people snakes, who fed his congregation snakes. The congregation started um, praying, started, the preacher started preaching. The person was telling them uh, what to do. When he tells them to eat something, they went and eat it. Yes, so he was busy telling them to eat um, uh, trees. They went to eat the leaves and he had tissue, a roll of tissue paper. And then he said they should eat it and they, eat, they ate it. And then after, after a while, he, he was talking about dying in spirit. He said when, when they die, when, they, where, when they're in, in the spirit, they can't feel anything. And then he started beating them. He started beating this other male uh, guy with the stripes. And he started um, slapping him and everything. So after a while, he told them to sleep. And then he came, he, he, he approached me. And then I saw him touching my hair and he was like, I see food. And those people came after me and then I ran and they started eating my hair. And then I fell and then the, that guy told them to sleep again. They slept and I managed to get up and run. These people can't control themselves. I think those people don't know what they're doing. And because I attended the, the intercession, the lady who was preaching was Tembi. She was quoting scriptures. I remember he, she quoted Romans 14 verse 1. Those people quote scriptures and they use, I think the, the, the pastor uses scripture to, um, to convince them. So if you see it in the Bible, you see, oh, this is real. So they, they, they use the scriptures literally. If someone, if, if the scripture says, um, cut your hair, they will literally do it. They don't, they don't interpret it in the right way. Asked how she felt after the attack, she says. I, I have mixed feelings. I really have mixed feelings because I don't know if I should cry, if I should laugh about it. I really am confused. TUT has uh, provided counseling for me. I've been going, I've went to a session today earlier and it really helped me because I needed someone to talk to because this was big for me. Uh, three days ago I was just a normal girl and then now everyone is talking about me on social media and I, you know, so it was all big for me so I, I it really helped me with counseling and I feel that journalists have to be free to take pictures and do stories to, 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 to tell people about what's going on around our communities and around the world. One of Tluale's lectures at TUT, Hulk Stiengam condemned the attack on her. The Department of Journalism takes this quite seriously. When we were informed of the incident, we uh, arranged counselling with a psychologist and a social worker for Halalelu. It is very important that a student in a situation like this gets proper counselling and treatment so that she can really work through a, such a traumatic experience. And secondly, Simone Herodin, the editor of Record, contacted us. We had a session with her this morning in which all the details were discussed. What will Record do? What will the Department of Journalism do? 
in situations that might occur in future? What preventative measures are there for student journalists who should have the same rights as working journalists? And we also spoke about releasing a statement from the Press Club to really condemn any types of threats made by either the police or the public against journalists who want to go out and cover stories. Editor of Record Noweto West, Mamilodi and Central, Simone Heradin, who assigned Ikluane to do a story on the church for record, also bemoaned the attack on her. As the record newspaper, we condemn this incident in the strongest because allegedly the police stopped them from taking photos and the congregants stopped them from doing the story. So it's an infringement on the freedom of media. Ron Sibia, Pretoria. Be informed. Read record.